previously on MasterChef Generations. Welcome to this amazing rock quarry. <laughs> Diners are coming, guys. Ten minutes to go. Beautiful chicken, guys. Good job. Thanks, Captain. Arthur, you got to throw somebody on burgers right now. Alpha has got all these great ideas, but he's not talking much. You're the captain, man. I don't know. Be, I'm be confident. Here. We haven't even started service, and we've run out of slaw. It's raw. Congratulations goes to the blue team. I am feeling so good about winning. The person going home is Arthur. Bye, guys. Tonight, you'll be facing the infamous Tag Team Challenge. It's our toughest one yet. You'll have to make four different dishes. This is freaking insane. Rebecca, since you were the winning captain from the last challenge, you get to pick tonight's pairs. Nice. Oh. We're going to have some big issues. Switch! Let's go! Switch, 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 switch. What goes first? This doesn't look good. A little faster. We got to go. I got it. They are yep. really behind. Switch! Let's go! We need to start the crate. It's the most vicious pick so far. Go check your crate! This is not quite the dream team I had hoped for. Switch! You're killing me, man! Top 12. All right, yes. all right. Pretty exciting one, this one. One of my favorite challenges. It's a MasterChef Classic. Woo! Go, go, go. Yeah! I came into this competition as a super fan of MasterChef. To have made it to top 12 is just surreal. What is this? Oh, oh different yeah. colors? That's neat. Purple. Very interesting. Interesting. I'm seeing colors on the stations. I know it's the Tag Team Challenge. So that's pretty nerve-wracking. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you. First of all, congratulations. Top 12, come on! <laughs> now, Adam, can you switch places with Warren, please? Love that. Daniela, can you swap places with Becca, please? Hayley, swap places with Kamei, please. OK. Hey, girl. That's Hi. better, because starting right now, it's everyone for themselves. Oh! You are not cooking alongside your generation any longer. Nice. Oh. No more hiding behind the best cook of your generation. Wow. Tonight, you'll be facing the infamous Tag Team Challenge. You will work in pairs, switching back and forth to make not three this time, but four different dishes. This is our toughest tag team challenge ever. Right. It's freaking insane. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Now, each of these four dishes under the cloche are a standout of each generation and their culinary styles. First up, the appetizer, a classic Gen Z king trumpet mushroom scallops over a delicious romesco finished with a herb vinaigrette. Oh, oh boy. Moving on, something quintessentially millennial, a delicious sesame-crusted ahi tuna over a bed of wasabi mash sautéed kale with a ginger soy reduction. So many elements. That's an easy one. you think. Now, Gen X's. For the meat course, we have a delicious pan-roasted filet mignon with a red wine mushroom sauce, fingerling potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. Filet mignon, mid-rare in the center. Yes, chef. Absolutely. Right, last but not least, our dessert. You can't get more baby boomers than this. An incredible flambéed crepe Suzette with a beautiful orange sauce, finished with a Chantilly cream. Oh, dear God. All four of these dishes require precise timing, so make sure that you and your teammates stay in sync. Yes, yes. chef. Speaking of teams, we need them. Now, Rebecca, you were the winning captain of the last team challenge, so you get to pick tonight's pairs. So come on up here, please. OK. You good, girl? OK. So let's start with Warren, fellow baby boomer. Who do we pair him up with? Haley. Haley, wow. Because they're both the same in their strengths. A Gen Z and a boomer. Right, so next up. Who are you going to pair with Daniela? Daniela is going to be paired with Horatio today. Wow. Horatio and Daniela, they both are pretty scattered. So there's a possibility that they will have a train wreck. OK, next, Mert. Kamei. K 
Kamei. My biggest threat is Kamei, and they are both powerhouse personalities, and I think that that will cause them problems. Jeets. I'm going to pair her with Adam. They're both very quiet, so that could be a detriment to them. Going, guys. Okay. You are saving your pick for last. Yes. So who are you going to pair with Michael? I'm going to pair Michael and Kimberly together only because they're the tallest and the shortest. <laughs> right. <laughs> and of course, you have selected Becca. Absolutely. Please join Becca and all you guys jump into those new so aprons, sick. please. Two Beckas. The Becca Beckas. The Becca Love Beckas. It. To be honest, I think Rebecca paired Michael and I together, not because he's tall and I'm short, but because he's strong and she thinks I'm weak. And so I need to prove that I am a good cook. OK, so listen closely. You'll be taking turns. One of you cooks, and one of you stands on the side. And when we call switch, you switch places. Understood? Yes. 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 yes chef. Now, the two home cooks who make the best dishes tonight will both earn immunity pins. This pin puts you straight into the top 10. And both of you will have a huge advantage in the next challenge. Now, one cook from the worst performing team tonight will be leaving this competition. Make sure it's not you. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Tonight, you've got to think very, very carefully who's going to go first and who's going to bring it home, which means plating at the end. A very important decision. OK, head to your stations. I do think that Becca and I will be a powerhouse team because we've both been in the top several times, so I think we are fierce and we're ready to win. All right, we got this. I'll get us going, I'll get us prepped up and okay. ready to go. Okay. As soon as you come back in, you know, you, you can... You just uh... tell me where to take over. Exactly. We're doing basically primary responsibilities by plate. If you don't finish something, have the other person yeah. finish it for you and walk them through. All right, everyone, you'll have 75 minutes working as a tag team to make a feast for the ages. Right, if you're starting, stay where you are. If you're the anchor, then please step to the side. Wish your partner the very best of luck. We got this. Go for it. Your 75 minutes start now. Let's go. Let's go. Put Come the on. pots on. Grab the two kettles. Here we go, Kamei. Here we go. Here we go. OK, potatoes. Peel the potatoes. Perfect, perfect. Potatoes, right, first? Yep, yep. You're going to be searing an ahi tuna. I would say you prep it first. I'm going to start on the sauce. OK. Rebecca is starting to recognize me as a threat, so she paired me together with Mert. He's kind of like a Tasmanian devil in the kitchen, and that doesn't always work well with me. For the knives, for the knives! So I'm just hoping that I can keep both of us focused. Prep your tuna, OK? OK. Go, Haley. Go, girl. Warren is a great team player, but our weaknesses can possibly be the age difference. All right, what do you want me to do next? I can't hear you. Warren might not be able to hear, but I'm going to scream, I'm going to holler, and I'm hoping to push us towards a victory. Cheer me on, buddy. Cheer me on. Cheer me. Come on, Haley. You got it going, girl. Horacio, quick repeal. Go all the way around the potato on the next one. I'm a bit concerned because Horacio is the rambunctious all over the place guy. No, 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 no. Go around and peel it rather than doing this. Are you sure? I haven't been strong during this competition, but it's my time to step up. Cut even pieces so that they cook evenly. Looking good, Horacio. Halfway through the potatoes. You got it, you got it. Adam is a soft-spoken guy, and we have very similar personalities. I've seen the tag team challenge enough to know that a leadership voice is really required. After this, I'm cutting the Brussels sprouts. Yeah, should be fine. I'm going to have to bring all that voice for our team and take the lead. All right, we're good. That looks good, Mike. Perfect, that's good. Not yet. A little bit more. Mr. Perfection over there. Now, in this generational tag team challenge tonight, the skills that we're really testing is communication, right? Yeah, and also, you have to prioritize. All of the procedures that take the longest to do should be done first. Obviously, potatoes, right? Looking good, G. Looking good. After that, I'll get into searing the meats, especially that filet. I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning the steak. Beautiful. And then after that, the ahi tuna. Get that tuna crusted, get it seared, and again, let that rest. Really important. You sure it needs nothing to adhere to? No, I got it, I got it, I got it. Put as much as you can on. A lot is going to fall off. I am, I am. Then go on to the sauces, and then get okay, the trumpet mushrooms. We're only scoring one side, yeah? Uh, I think we should score both sides. Let's melt the butter for the crepe batter just so it can cool for me. Hurt. I would leave those crepes for the last 10 minutes because they cook so fast. 
butter looks melted. OK, perfect. What they can't afford to do is waste time. And you need to be on the same page every step of the way. What percentage of soy sauce is going into the sauce versus the vinegar? I don't know. Well, then you should make sure you taste early. I know, I know. Two and a half minutes to go before our first switch. Communicate before you swap. You're going to switch in a minute. What do you want me to start on, you think? Obviously, the play, because the cook has to be perfect. Do you want to do the ahi tuna? Oh, man. You're good, Horacio. Easy. This is extremely hard. 60 seconds to go before our first switch. Stand by. All right, let's taste, Mert. Use a different spoon so we're not cross-contaminating. You hear me? May can be a pretty strong personality. I don't know if I can deal with that type of drama while I'm cooking. I would start with half the amount of vinegar of the soy, no, depending on how much I think you it have. should be more. Wow, OK. I don't think she's going to listen to anything I say in the kitchen. And I didn't cook. I've proved myself the last couple of challenges. Mert, stop putting your spoon back in. Take it out. Bring it back to a boil. If she keeps dictating how I'm supposed to cook something, we're going to have some big issues. All right, all right. And you can add more soy sauce if it's too sweet, OK? Mert? Merck, you hear me? Sixty seconds to go before our first switch. Let's go. So how did the sauce taste? The sauce is a little salty. OK, so I'll fix it. Oven open. In. Yep, there you go. Here we go. Five, Five four, three, two, one. one. Switch. Switch, 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 switch. switch. Let me go, go, go. go. This. Let's go, Warren, let's go! Season the meat, season the meat. All right, so I'm going to finish cutting these, and I'm going to watch your sauce. I'll do a touch of vinegar, and I want to blend it a little more. OK, cool. Let's see if we can get these Brussels sprouts in the oven, too. OK. Put it in the oven. A little faster. We got to go. I got it. Let's go, guys. First 10 minutes gone. You just roll that, roll that, coat it in that. Good job, good job. Do we need to toast the sesame seeds? Sesame seed is after done. It gets cooked with the sesame seeds. No, sesame seed was raw. It wasn't raw, chef. He's saying to add the sesame seeds after it's cooked. No, you should be coating the sesame seeds, right? A little touch of oil there. Well, what takes longer to cook, the filet or the tuna? Uh, the filet. The yeah. filet takes longer than a... Uh... Absolutely. So why can't you talk to her? Make sure the pans are hot before you do anything. Yes, Horacio. OK, OK, support each other. Yes. Yes, sir. And focus on those proteins. Good luck. Yeah. I'll start sucking. Still salty. How much um, soy sauce you put in this? I just put a normal amount. You want to do the vinegar to kale first? I'll prep the kale. OK. All the way, even, even. Make sure you get it all around. That's good. Seasoned meat. We're yes. here with the dream team that you created. How do you feel you guys got out the gate? Did you set you guys up for success or what? I, I think we have. We've got a lot accomplished already. He's seasoning our meat right now. I would say you couldn't be more dissimilar as far as your age and your experience in the kitchen. Do you think that will help or hurt you? I think it'll help us. I really do. She's like the young version of me. Hey, don't over-season, OK? Fish next. Season, sorry. No, it's good. Yep. Good luck. Thank you, chefs. Thank you. Let's try to get that steak in. Salt and pepper at first, or? Yep, salt and pepper on there. Let's get it on. It needs to rest. 60 seconds to go to the next switch. Stand by. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. How's the steak looking? Steak's looking good. You put garlic in there? The garlic can come in a second. 15 seconds until we switch. Get it in the pan. Get it in the pan. Is it hot? Pan's hot? Yes. You finish off the steak? Yep, yep. All right, get ready. Yep. Three, two, two one. Switch. Switch. Go, 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 go. You got it. You got it. You got it. All right, switch, switch, switch. Here, here, here. You need a base? Yep. OK, we're doing fish first or meat? Both at the same time. OK. Let's go, Haley. You go, girl. Oh, Haley, you're rocking. Horacio, yep. rosemary, butter, baste. Looks good, looks good. You know how to do a perfect steak, Mike. You got this. All right, guys, this is a pivotal moment in the Tag Team Challenge, because now you're searing your meats, you're cooking the tuna. This is the heart of the cook. Yeah. The ahi only needs 60 seconds on each side, so they need to keep an eye on that. And anything over medium rare on a filet is bad news. Yes. You're going to keep basting that, and then we're going to probably pop it in the oven. No, I'll let you do it. I'm going to baste it a little bit, and no, we're good. No, you can't let me do it. It can't sit there and not cook. All right. I, I, just let me know when I put it in the oven. You should put it in now, Mert. Now? Yes. All right. All right, the steak in the oven. Yep, go and start ricing those potatoes. Ah. Pan hot? Yeah. All right, okay. 15 seconds. You sure about 15 seconds, not 30? No, it's less, it's less time than that. OK. All right, guys, so what do you think about Rebecca's strategy of pairing kamei 
and Mert. I think Rebecca's target here is Kamei as a potential threat. That's the most vicious pick. That's right. Exactly. Mert's sort of casual, frat boy, relax, and you got Kamei that's on it, that wants it done now. We have got to get started on the tuna. What are you gonna do? With the orange team, you have Haley, who's a strong personality, and you have Warren, who's more, more subdued, and he's the oldest competitor. There's a 46 year age gap between Warren and Haley. That could either be a real positive attribute or a very, very difficult challenge. Yeah, exactly that. You have a pan that's ready there for your ahi? A little bit. No, no, don't cook with you sesame sure? oil. Yeah, I'm sure, positive. Cook with grapeseed oil. Green team, Horacio. And Daniela. Horacio, he has no idea what's going on. Was that pan hot? Uh, yep. I think Horacio, uh, as a very wild guy, and might have the hardest time in this challenge. Yeah. He has to listen. That's right. Yeah. That's it, not too much. Not enough. Just the drizzle. I need more soy in this. So Jeet and Adam is a very challenging pairing because I think neither of them are very vocal, right? Sure, yeah. They've been the quietest team so far. OK, check the sear the steak. I think it's good. OK, all right, in the oven. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then, of course, Rebecca. She takes the cream of the crop, Rebecca. But you have two alpha leaders. You put two people like that that both have the instinct to take charge, it could spell trouble. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Be gentle with it. I think it needs to sear it a little bit more. You sure? Yes. Keep an eye on that tuna. We don't want it overdone. It's good. We got this. Good? How is it? Oh! Don't worry. You're good? It's good. It's good. OK. Good job, good job. How's the sauce tasting? Uh, Let me I'm, see it. Hold it out to me. This, this doesn't look good. It just looks like it's separated a little bit. We can strain it. Yeah, we'll strain it. We're yeah, good. I'll take care of the red wine sauce. 30 seconds to switch. Stand by. Who is this? It's hot. OK. OK, Rebecca, when I get on, him, I'll work on the mash. And I I'm going to work on the French fries. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Three, two, one, and switch. switch. Let's go. Come on. Nice job, Boomer. Potatoes are looking good? Yes. All right, and we got the Brussels working in the oven. Yeah, I'm starting the batter. Smell crepes. We're looking really good, Kimberly. I think we're on top of it. What sauce do you want to do? You want to do the ginger soy? Or, or do you want to the... do the orange one? Do the orange one. I'll do the... Whichever one you're more comfortable with. OK. Um... Right, Adam and Jeet, where are we? Uh, we're done with the Brussels sprouts. We are also parboiling our fingerling potatoes. But let's talk about the proteins. Is yes. the filet mignon resting? Yes. What temperature is it? Oh, we haven't cooked it yet. We oh, haven't cooked it yet? No. Sure. Get the filet on. Okay. Come on, guys. Yes, the okay. tuna seared? No, chef. The tuna and the, the steak aren't done, but we're working on the elements for both those dishes. But, but hey, why are we upside down? Yes. You're the only team that hasn't got their protein on. Come on, guys. You're both behind. Don't waste time. Oh, boy. And Jeet, you're the only team that hasn't got their protein on. Come on, guys. You're both behind. Don't waste time. You just speed up. Yes, okay. chef. Let's yeah. go. I add wasabi first. You're going to add probably a teaspoon. Good job, good job. You're doing awesome. Keep mixing. Good, yes. Two minutes to go. It's all switched. Do you want a pan hot for tuna as well? Sure, yeah. My big worry right now is the red team with Adam and Jeet. They haven't even got their proteins on. They're oh, messing wow. around with sauces, garnishes. There's no leader there. No one's taking control. You're going to have to guide me on those temps, OK? OK, I got you. Check that red wine reduction and strain it. Oh, no, this is broken. Oh, my gosh. So I'm spending so much time remaking the sauces that Mert started in the beginning. So I'm going to start the red sauce again, but we really got to pay attention to it. And it's incredibly frustrating because instead of making progress, I'm wasting time. Watch that for me. You got me? Yeah, 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 yeah. 15 seconds until we switch. OK, good, good, good. You got that going. Be thinking about what's next. All right, I'm trying to think what's next. Think, think, think. Three, two, one, switch. switch. Let's go. Switch, 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 switch. Let's go, baby. I'm getting both of those proteins on. Check that filet about every one minute. OK. Right, by now, all your proteins should be rested. Now you start on that trumpet mushroom. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Get a good color on that. We need to start the crepes, and we need to start the mushrooms. Sear the mushroom scallops. I didn't hear the first part. This is not quite the dream team I had hoped for. Sear mushroom scallops and work on the Asian sauce. It is total chaos in this kitchen. And Becca is barking orders at me and saying, do this, do this. I'm just really not used to that. I'm used to being the one that barks the orders. OK, we got to move, girl. I know, I know. Everybody, listen up. Start your crepe. Get crepes going. Let's go. We need three crates, three crates. Make it thin. 
Oh, sugar. All right, I think the tuna might be seared. Look at this. Yep. Good job, okay, flip it. Perfect, perfect. Flip it, girl. Yes, yes. Merc, be careful. Oh my God. Throw it away, just throw it away. Don't leave it in there. Blombe, let's do it! Woo! Watch your eyebrows, baby! Woo hoo hoo! Now look at the bottom of the steak. It should be like a deep brown color. It's good. Good? Yeah. All right, what's next? Tell me what to do. All right, so you're going to do the red wine sauce. I'm frustrated because G wanted to step up and lead, but she is really struggling. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. So I'm worried that we're not going to be able to finish all these components. Come on, come on, come on. 90 seconds to our final switch. 90 seconds. Hey, get some crepes down. Get, get a cup, get it down. How do I do this? Go check your crepe. Use a spatula, use something. Use your fingers. I don't want you flipping in the air. Mark, you're killing me, man. Watch the heat, it's a little high. 30 seconds, guys. Last switch, standing by. If it's not hot enough, it's not gonna melt. Magico! 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 I don't know where I cut it. Okay, Horacio, breathe. Breathe, you're good. Let's go, Horacio. It's okay, it's okay. Good job, Horacio. Pour half the sauce over the crepes. You'll we'll let it soak and then flambe it. Ay, 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 ay. Three, two, two one, one, switch! For the final time, let's go! Switch, put it down! Oh my gosh. Oh, mama! Plate one, plate two. How are you feeling with the crepe? Ah, I think there's too much butter in here. All right, that's going. Uh, uh, Watch get... that for me, okay? Huh? Watch that for me, please. Hey, also Brussels sprout. I will. I need to babysit this a little bit, though. Come on, Daniela. Okay, dip them. All right, let's go. Just under seven minutes remaining. Let's go. Got to start plating. Start plating. Bring it home, guys. Bring it home. We never cooked those mushrooms. You got it. We can cook them. Oh, thanks. We need to get our mushrooms done. Oh, my goodness. Stay calm. Yeah. Put those on top of each other. How are those mushrooms? Are they almost cooked? They're going, they're going, they're going. The mushrooms aren't even cooked. But why are the mushrooms cooked? Because we're focusing on plating. Mushrooms are way more important. Okay, yes, Please. Chef. No. Get the mushrooms plated, get the mushrooms plated. Sugar. Check on those mushrooms. I think they're good. You can take them out. Think they're good? I think so. Oh, the kale's all in the center. Okay, then what? Okay, please. now put the tuna on top. Put the tuna on top. Keep going, Kimberly. Keep going, keep going, ah! keep going. What yeah. goes first? Go go with the go with the kale down. They put the steak on top of it. No, it's fish on it. And, uh, put the steak on it, put the red sauce on top of it, and leave it. You're confusing me, Horacio. This is so stressful. We can't remember whether the kale goes with the fish or with the steak. What else? Put the mashed potato on the black one. Our Gen X and Boomer memories are kicking in in overdrive. More, more, more. Yeah, we can do this. Great job. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Are we, are we just leaving the Brussels sprouts out? Listen, I gotta plate something nice. Let yeah, me, let me get this done. 30 seconds to go. Good, good, good. Good job. Keep going, keep going. The Brussels sprout go with the, the tuna. Yep, yep, yep. Keep whipping. Come on. Ah. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Hands in the air. Go, Daniela. Yes, Daniela. Oh. <laughs> that was crazy, man. That was crazy. We were good as a team. Ugh. I just hope we did enough. It was hell. We didn't finish the Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. We didn't get the kale on. Mm. Oh, f I cannot believe this. Oh, f kale. Damn. We got everything. Everything is on. Hope the cook on the meat yeah. is good. This challenge was way harder than I thought it would be. So we'll just see what they think, okay? I had so many high hopes for this team, and it just didn't play out. It's like a knife through the heart. It's embarrassing, it's disappointing, and I'm worried about my team. <sighs> All right. Well done, all of you. Now, that was a challenge, right? It was incredible. Now, it's time to taste all of your dishes and find out who's on top and who may be leaving the competition tonight. First up, Haley and Warren, please. This challenge is harder than any other team challenge we've done so far, but I love Warren. For us to be two completely different generations and to come together and really rock this, I'm so proud of us. Right, let's start off with the Gen Z-inspired appetizer. Visually, the trumpet mushrooms. They look good, nice sear, great color. Shall we dig in, gents? Yes.
Delicious. Seasoned beautifully. And that vinaigrette is a little touch greasy. However, the hero, mushrooms, cooked beautifully. The dish is spot on. Flavorful, well executed, well done. Thank you, Jeff. Right, the crusted tuna. Visually, it looks slightly overcooked. It's also lacking in that crust of sesame, so it's not an even coating. Yes, sir. For me, the dish tastes delicious. Yeah, the mash, it has that perfect amount of wasabi. Mm. And I love how the ginger came through on the sauce, so good job. Thank you. OK, we've got the filet mignon. Visually, it is good. Great sear on the filet. In terms of the temperature, what did you do? Go for medium rare. Medium rare. Who cooked this? That would be me. That's a beautiful mid-rare. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Beautifully done. Sauce a little bit overreduced. However, the steak is now beautifully well done. Mm. For me, the caramelization on the Brussels sprouts is spot on. And I love the fact that you didn't hammer the outside of the steak. And finally, crepe Suzette. The color on the crepes, they look good. But it's missing the Chantilly whipped cream. So crepes are delicious. And that sauce, flambe, picture perfect. Crepes are seasoned properly, sauce tastes good. So that's a success from my perspective. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Flavor-wise, they were very, very accurate. This steak was amazing. All right, so the next dishes we want to taste is from Horacio and Daniela. I feel really stressed out. We finished what we could do, but the dishes is incomplete. And this makes me extremely nervous. So visually, trumpet mushrooms. It's missing the herb vinaigrette, so it looks a little bit dry. These mushrooms are cooked perfectly and seasoned perfectly. It's too bad the dish is incomplete. OK, now let's deal with the elephant in the room. Who put the Brussels sprouts on the tuna? I did, chef. Right. Where did the Brussels sprouts go? On the steak, chef. Tuna's delicious. Thank Tuna's you, seasoned beautifully, and it's absolutely spot on. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. OK, the filet mignon with the wrong garnish. But filet looks delicious. And it's a beautiful mid-rare. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Delicious. Thank you, Joe. Fingerling potatoes are nice and crispy. The actual kale is super crispy as well. It's actually delicious. It just doesn't go with this dish. Right, crepes. Uh, where's the sauce for the crepes? The crepes were cooked in the sauce and then folded. So it's absorbed in there? It's absorbed in okay. there. OK, and no whipped cream. We did not have time to do that, Joe. The crepes are absolutely delicious. I mean, they're crispy, they're delicious. You OK? Yeah. Thank you, Daniela. Thank Horacio. Thank you, chefs. It's a shame, because they actually got a lot of components spot on. Yeah, but it's Just like mix and match. I don't go to the Savoy Grill when I order the broccoli. They could bring me bok choy, no, right? No. We did good. OK, the next team's dish we'd like to taste is Kamei and Mert. I am feeling so scared because a lot of our plates are missing elements. And I think that's a reflection of the disorganization and the miscommunications that we had. I've just witnessed 75 minutes of bedlam. Mert, what happened? We have different cooking styles, but we struggled out there. I can't sugarcoat it at all. And where are the sprouts? The sprouts were never cooked. The kale we cooked, it's in a deli tub at our station. Uh, what is it, a snack for midnight? What, no, chef. Why, why couldn't it get on the plate? A lot of mistakes there. Yeah. Wow. Mert and Kamei. Visually, it's a mess, guys. When you're missing so many components, it's very difficult for us to even judge. So visually, trumpet mushrooms. We're missing the herb vinaigrette, right? Did we forget it? Did we run out of time, or? We ran out of time, chef. Oh, boy. It's undercooked. It tastes woody. We asked you to cook food, not serve it to us raw. Now, tuna's nice and pink. The actual mash looks silky smooth, but it's missing the kale. Thank you. 
So the tuna's cooked beautifully, it's just under seasoned. Mm -hmm. It's bland. Yeah, I think the saving grace here is that wasabi mash. It has the spice, it has that sort of wake up power that it, the tuna needs. So the filet mignon, I mean, looks hammered. Who cooked this? I seasoned and got the sear on the stove. I, and, I, I, I don't yeah. need a bedtime story. I just okay. need who cooked the fillet. I did, Jeff. So it's medium. I mean, there's just no salt, guys. And what that tells me is that you guys were completely frantic and you didn't work on the basics. As I taste this food, I just ask myself, what did you do for 75 minutes? OK. Crepes look rushed. Uh, where's the orange segments and the whipped cream? Uh, I had time to make the sauce and zest, but not the whipped cream. A crepe suzette transports you to a place, and when it falls short like this, it's an absolute shame. I mean, this looks like my kid's socks. And I just want to say to both of you, you don't need to be best friends, but professionally, you do need to work together. Mm -hmm. And I'm tasting two individuals who uh, couldn't care less about each other, let alone their food. Thank you, Jermaine. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect example of two individuals not working okay. together. Two different uh, cooking styles, man. Uh, next up, uh, Jeet and Adam. I'm feeling very nervous. We're missing a couple of elements, but at this point, I'm just hanging on to hope that Martin Kame maybe did slightly worse than what we did. Oh, boy. Visually, the trumpet mushrooms look slightly undercooked. What happened? We just ran out of time. Shall we? Undercooking and under seasoning mushrooms like this makes them taste like dirty water. At least we're not the only ones. Okay. So visually, how do we get tuna that cooked? That's almost so well cooked, it could be canned tuna. Who cooked this? Adam got the sesame and everything on there. And as we were switching positions, I was taking So you of decided to cook it, overcook it like that. Our timing was off on when oh, you got it. Someone makes that decision. Yes, chef. I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm just glad you guys aren't eating this. Mash is seasoned, big deal. But uh, the hero, long gone. The sauce is completely overreduced. It's broken. It looks, it, it's a disgrace. OK, the filet mignon it looks hammered. And we're missing the red wine sauce. Who cooked the hockey puck? I did, chef. Yeah, that's well done. I never expected the team that was most behind on cooking their proteins to deliver such overcooked food like this. You could have taken a pot of boiling water and thrown a steak and potatoes in and would have come out better than what you guys managed to do here. Thank God we got some color on the crepes, but the rest of it looks pretty bad. The actual sauce tastes decent, but the crepes are too thick, so any form of sauce just gets absorbed. Eating these crepes is like eating a kitchen sponge. Oh, my God. The one ingredient missing on all these plates, leadership. Such a shame. Thank you. How do you cook tuna that white? It's a shame. All right, Michael and Kim. Our dynamic actually worked out really well. I'm just hoping that the flavors pull through and the judges are happy with what we were able to get on the plate. The first time tonight, we have four cohesive dishes featuring every ingredient. First thing, the trumpet mushrooms. They look stunning. Mushrooms are seasoned beautifully under the right amount of herb vinaigrette. Good job. Perhaps the first dish tonight that really captured the essence of our prototype dish. Thank you. Thank you. So visually, the tuna's cooked beautifully. Mash looks creamy, rich. So tuna's nicely seasoned and mass absolutely spot on. Really good job. Filet looks delicious, and I love the color on the red wine sauce. Who cooked the filet? I cooked the filet, and then uh, Kimberly took it out. It's a beautiful mid rare. Yeah. Thank you, chef. Nice. The sauce is so compelling and so delicious. And it really is something special when you have that with that beautiful piece of filet mignon. Thank you, chef. 
Let's see if these crepes can be the crescendo to this very successful culinary opera. For the first time tonight, we have some whipped cream with those crepes. So crepes taste good. I mean, honestly, I'm a touch longer in the pan. I'm nitpicking now, but they're really good. Both of you, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, guys. You too. Good job, buddy. I mean, the crates weren't as good as Warren's, but they were good. Huh? Really yeah. good. OK, the final dishes we'd like to taste, Rebecca and Becca. Coming into this challenge, I chose Becca because I thought she would be the best teammate. But we really fizzled out, and it shows on the plates. OK, so visually, those mushrooms look so undercooked. Who cooked the mushrooms? I did. Wow. I would think that a cook like you would know that mushrooms are basically 90% water. Mm -hmm. You have to get the water out. If not, it tastes like pond water. Absolutely. Tuna. Oh, boy. As you can see over here, it's so cooked one side that it's not even evenly turned on that side. It's wrong. For me, the lack of wasabi in the mash is bringing this down. That's a shame. OK, filet. Who cooked the filet? I did. It's unevenly seared. I'm slightly concerned about the temperature inside. Who cooked the filet? I did. I'm slightly concerned about the temperature inside. It is pink in the middle. Not bad. Steak is seasoned nicely. Uh, it just needs to be seared better. But the sauce has a nice consistency. Crepes. So just a touch too thick there. You can see that, right? Mm -hmm. But all the elements are there. Good job. Crepes need a touch more cooking. Sauce tastes good. But everybody behind you saw you two as the sort of front runners tonight. But both you know that this is not a front running performance, right? Correct, chef. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. What a shame. Yep. And why not play to each other's strengths? But you get all the talent in the world there. That is not what I thought was going to happen. Now, you've given us a lot to discuss. Excuse us, please, shall we, gentlemen? Boy, it's a tough one, this one. Indeed. Really tough. Today confirms that you can only excel in this challenge if you can truly work as a team. As a team. So Haley and Warren, uh, they were good. Very yeah. good. Probably the best crepes we've had. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and um, Michael, Kimberly. Yeah. They probably did the most complete menu. Yeah, absolutely. It was yeah. the most accurate. Uh, Horacio and Daniela. A lot of the food tasted really good. But the garnishes were on the wrong play. That's true. Mm -hmm. Now we need to figure out which cook on the worst team is actually going home. This is killing me. All right, in the yeah. greens? Yeah. yeah. Right, there was one team who we felt really rose to the top of the competition tonight. Congratulations goes to the blue team, Michael and Kimberly. Yeah, guys, you did a great job. You both win immunity and a big advantage as well. Good job, guys. Good job, Feeling good? Man. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> You're peaking at a good time, young man. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Amazing. Thank you. Come here. This immunity pin feels amazing. That was a hard challenge, but the best part is the tallest and the shortest won the challenge. So I think you messed up, Rebecca, because look who's in the top 10 now. Now, Joe, Aron, and myself feel there were three teams who performed shockingly bad. Please come down to the front. Rebecca and Becca, Mert and Kamei, and Jeet and Adam. Now, Rebecca and Becca, you started off as the favorites tonight, but we had a very underperforming end. Mert and Kamei, uh, you're out of sync. Adam and Jeet, insufficient checking in with each other, and it showed on those dishes. Now, after a long discussion, we all agreed the worst performing team tonight was Adam and Jeet. 
Red team, it was very clear to us that one home cook was responsible for the majority of the mistakes. Therefore, the home cook leaving the competition tonight is... Jeet. Uh, all of you, say goodbye to Jeet and make your way back to your stations. Jeet, unfortunately, the ahi tuna and the filly mignon were way overcooked. And tonight, you just didn't step up. Jeet, a millennial superfan, right? Yes, yes. I know this is a big dream of yours. Well, it was a dream for Joe and Aron and myself to have you cook in this kitchen. Keep cooking, keep smiling, and of course, keep watching. Thank you, my darling. Come and say goodbye, come on. <laughs> I think being in this kitchen and getting to cook for the legends that are up there and making top 12, I never thought I'd be this far. So I'm extremely proud of what I've accomplished. Thanks for being such a great teammate. I came here as a super fan, but now I'm leaving with the confidence of Chef Jeet. Bye, Jeet. Next time on MasterChef Generation, something's brewing. You will need to make a restaurant-quality dish featuring coffee. I'm going to show you how to make an amazing dish using coffee five ways and with the top ten within reach. Wow. Kimberly and Michael, you have an advantage. Think about hitting some direct targets. Oh, man. Not happy right now. 45-minute dessert is a nightmare. You knew this, you can do this, you can do this. Oh, dear God. What happened? I have to start over. Oh, no. You put her in that position. Low orders. Oh, my God. I think something went wrong along the way. It's like cappuccino and sand. I think it's safe to say that Michael and Kimberly wounded more than one target tonight. One potato, two potato.